We're going to start 1.3 right now. We're going to get into the, kind of some, some more meaty parts of the subject. We're going to talk about addition and hopefully subtraction. Section 1.33, if you're 1.3, section 1.3, keeping track, we're going to do addition, subtraction, but we're going to stick with whole numbers for right now. We're not going to talk about any negative numbers or fractions or anything like that. I just want to focus on the basics so we have that piece of the puzzle down so we can move on in just a little bit. Oh, also, I'll pass out the rule right now. Hey, just put your initials right next to your name, okay, for today's thing. If you're not, I don't think you're on that yet, put your name at the bottom. And then see me after class. So. so addition and subtraction of whole numbers. Addition, subtraction, whole numbers. Let's say you're walking down the road, right? And you just finished your job as a painter. And you know on this one road, you got these, uh, these tract houses. You know the tract houses, what I mean? Like the most, I, I live in a tract home, where you have all the same pretty much type of house on both sides of the street, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say you were the painter. You painted five houses on the right-hand side. You painted three houses on the left-hand side. How many houses did you paint all together? How'd you do that? You, you do a couple of plays, right? You use your fingers. Just one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, there's eight. You can add them together. Five plus three, that's eight. That's how we do our addition. It's just adding those individual parts together. So when we say three houses plus five houses equals the eight total houses that you painted, we do say a couple different words for each of these numbers. These two things over here, the things you added together, added together, are your add-ins, things you're adding. That's what we call them. I've already said this word today, but what's the thing you get? Sum. That's the sum. Not S-O-M-E, like there's some houses over there. It means S-U-M, like that's our sum. What I'm going to make you do is, of course, you got to memorize addition of single digits, which means like if I say 7 plus 9, you give me... Hopefully 16, that's right. If I say 3 plus 2, you give me, if I give, if say 9 plus 1, you give me 10. Those single digits, that has to be memorized. If you can't memorize it, there's dot method or finger method, whatever you, can, whatever you need to do to get that down. You gotta memorize addition of single digits. Because we have options for adding more than just single digits. We're gonna talk about that right now. What about for large numbers? Relatively large numbers here, 426 plus 61. So if I come up to you and I go, really quick, what's 426 plus 61? Now, you go, I don't know, but it's going to take you a while, right? And chances are you're probably doing something in your head that I'm going to show you on the board. Because adding these large numbers isn't exactly the same as adding 5 plus 5 or 5 plus 6. We actually set this up a certain way in our head. Have you ever set up adding lar large numbers before? How do you do it? Say your numbers, you on top. Usually. Does it really matter? Not really. Not really. Whatever. We typically do that. We typically set this up vertically. So in, in our notes here, we're going to put this down. When we are setting up addition of large numbers, we're going to line up the numbers vertically. So let me give you an option here, okay? Give you three options. Which one? Left, center, right? Right. right. Why? 
Okay. The one and the six, that's great. What he said, what, what, what did he say? Someone here, you repeat what he said. Place value. Place, is place value important for us? Yes. When we're adding numbers. As a matter of fact, you know what we're doing when we line up by place value? You might not have ever thought about this, but what we're doing when we're lining up by place value is we're actually thinking of these numbers as expanded form and adding each little part. That's how addition works. It's adding each place value, adding each little expanded version of that and then we're just doing it all at once. We just don't have to write it out. Does that make sense to you? We're just adding each little piece. So we're gonna line things up vertically, and then we're gonna add place value by place value. So line up vertically, I'll put a little note there, by place value. And then we're going to add each place value. Okay, so this one, not so much. This one, definitely not so much. But these, these are lined up by place value. We've got to have ones over ones and tens over tens. Otherwise, it's not going to make a whole lot of sense. So let's go ahead and do this. We start on the right-hand side. We're going to add those digits. How many ones am I going to have? Seven. Perfect. How many tens am I going to have? Eight. Hundreds? Good. There's really no hundreds down there to add. So we have 487. That's our sum. Bless you, by the way. Let's go ahead and do a couple more. I'll do one more with you. I'll give you a couple to do on your own, and then we'll we'll move on to some uh, some properties. Here. So 4,187 plus 694, of course the first thing we're going to do is we've got to line these things up because it's really hard to do this math in our head, right? Isn't it? Would you all do that in your head right away? I wouldn't. It would take me some time. I'd have to actually line it up in my head and go through it. Right? That's what I would do. So we may as well just do that here. So 4,187. And we're going to line it up by place value so our 6 has to go under our 1. Matching up our 100s, our 10s, and our 1s. And we add accordingly. But wait a second, what's going to happen? What's our 7 plus 4? Is that going to fit in the 1 spot? Can you have like 11 here? What's that called when you have more than what will fit? What do you have to do? Yeah, so don't forget to carry. Because pretty much what we've done by adding these ones together is we've overloaded the ones place value. We have now 11 ones. So 11 ones, if you think about it, is one one and one ten. That's how carrying works. We have one one, we bring the ten over there. So we've overloaded that too much, we just carry that over to the next place value. And we continue to add. How many tens are we going to have here? 18. Very good. That's eight tens, and those 18 tens was eight tens and a hundred. That's how the carrying is going to keep going and keep carrying over. How many hundreds do we have? Great, no carrying there. 4,881, we're done. Give two a try. Give two a try, and then we'll move on. By the way, I give you a lot to do on your own here. First, at the beginning of the semester, because if you're anything like most people, did you do math all summer long? No. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> so I want to get the cobwebs out a little bit. I do math all summer long because, hey, I'm kind of a math dork. But uh, chances are you probably haven't. So I want to get the cobwebs off, the, off this thing and see if you can add these together. By the way, I will be walking around every time I give you a problem like this. If you need help, you just raise your hand or look at me like, ah, and I'll come around and help you, okay? So 
The first one I need you to line that up and add that. The second one I've lined up, just make sure you add that appropriately. Notice how it really doesn't matter for addition whether the big number's at the top or the bottom. It doesn't matter. Where's my sign at cheap at? Has it got to everybody on this side? Do you feel yeah, do you guys see? The way it usually works, it goes down this way, it's going to come up this way. So we pass up this way. Yeah, let's get started on this thing. Okay, the first thing we do, let's look at this first example. What, what do we do first again? By what? By uh, Great. Okay. So we'll have our, we'll keep that 9,000 on top. 9,726 and the 849. Put a little addition over there. That way we know we're adding. If we add, how many ones are we going to get? Everybody. Come on. Everybody, how many ones are we going to add? 15. Okay, 15 or? Five. Perfect. Either way you say that, that's fine with me. How many tens are we going to have? Seven. Great. How many hundreds are we going to have? Five. And that becomes a thousand. That's great. How many thousands do we have? Ten. How would you say this number for me? Ten thousand five hundred seventy-five. Good. Very good. Ten thousand five hundred seventy-five. Next one. We got. Well, it looks like twelve ones to me. I'm going to carry that up there. Our tens. It looks like we're going to have how many tens? Six. Six. And we got to carry that. How many hundreds do we have? Because we have that, that one that needs to be carried over. We have an extra thousand. So you can say twelve hundreds if you want, but the one's just going to keep carried over. How about this? What are we going to do? Plus, we got to carry that one. And then we have eight. And the one, we didn't do anything with that, but we still have to write it down there. So did you get 183,262? Raise your hand if you did. Great job. Good job. Very good. Do we feel okay with adding these numbers? So single digits, memorize them, have them down, have some way to use your fingers or something. Thank you, sir. Uh, the large numbers, you've got a method for that, which is kind of nice. Now, I do have to go through some properties with you about addition. They're not hard properties. I just want you to kind of identify between uh, some of the operations we're working with in this class, what works when. For instance, For instance, what would happen if I took the number 7 and added 0 to it? How much am I going to get? What would happen if I took any number and added 0 to it? What's going to happen? It's the same number back again. You, you with me on that? Anything I, I choose, if I add zero, I get that number back. So, for instance, seven plus zero, well, that's still equal to seven. What if I do it backwards? What if I take zero and add a number to it? Same this doesn't change. Oh, okay, great. This right here is called the addition property of zero. It's also called the additive identity, if you want to think about it that way. Uh, so here right here, the addition property of zero. 